As election campaigning intensifies in the state of Nevada, there's one group that could prove crucial in this year's midterms battle, unregistered voters. Many in this group are Latino and Asian American and Pacific Islander, also known as AAPI, fast-growing communities in a critical swing state with tight election races for the House, U.S. Senate, and Governor. So both parties are pounding the pavement and knocking on doors. We encourage all Latino, all Latino can go to vote. Miriam Cervantes and MC Balicanta are two Democrat supporting canvassers. Here I am personally, I'm knocking doors at every, you know, every um, neighborhood. Republicans are also canvassing. And in Nevada, they have another tool, Hispanic Outreach Centers small community hubs where campaigners invite prospective voters in to talk to them about their concerns. Right now at the moment there's about 100,000 Hispanics, Latinos, that are not registered to vote. They're eligible to vote, but they're not registered yet. So there's a big number of people that we can reach out and the, and the, uh, the opportunities are, are, are tremendous right now. The AAPI community is the fastest growing electoral group in the state according to the 2020 census, making up about 12 percent of residents. But that's still way behind the Latino vote, which accounted for nearly 20 percent of eligible voters in Nevada two years ago, and experts say is still expanding. David Damore is a professor of political science at UNLV. You know, the older white voters are dying out and they're being replaced by minority voters, so the parties that are able to respond to the changing demography are well positioned in Nevada. The Latino electorate's growing, and as it's growing, you're seeing more issues emerge um, beyond immigration there. Certainly the Latino community was hard hit during the COVID and during the lockdown. Um, education issues loom large here. You're also seeing the emergence of a, of a stronger gender gap with Latino males more likely to vote Republican, uh, Latinas more likely to vote, vote Democratic. For many Latinos, there is one overriding issue, the economy. Every time we go to the grocery store, every time we go to the gas station right now, what's happening with the economy and all these super high prices are affecting directly our family. And that's where the Latinos, I think, are starting to see and they are starting to wake up. Iris Ramos Jones has been a citizen of the U.S. since 2019 and moved to the U.S. from Ecuador a decade ago. You know, watching the news, watching, watching on TV ads that are, that they are running um, uh, based on abortion, it's just, I'm so unfamiliar with that. And I think that is, that might be a, an issue then the Democratic Party is getting wrong, especially with the Latino community. But the Democrats are trying. The Culinary Workers Union is putting all of its efforts into reaching those who might still be persuaded to vote blue, says Secretary Treasurer Ted Papa George. We're knocking on a million doors this time around in the state of Nevada. By the end of this, by election day, we will have knocked on over half of the Latino voters in the state, over half of the black voter doors in the state, and over one-third of Asian American doors in the state. Our, if we knock on those million doors and talk to those voters, we're going to win.